Hello everybody and welcome back to this Python series on SQL Alchemy. Today I'll be showing you how to filter. So first off, to filter data in SQL Alchemy, we can use the filter method of the query object. Here's an example. So first we'll start off with a variable called users all, and we'll set it equal to session.query of our user dot all. This will return all the users in our database. But what we are going to want to do is query all users with the age greater than or equal to 25. So to do that, we'll make a variable called users filtered, and we'll set that equal to session.query of our user. Then we will add a dot filter method. And inside here, we can pass a conditional argument. So for example, we can say user.age is greater than or equal to 25. This will filter out all of our users where their age is greater than or equal to 25. Then at the very end, we can do dot all to get all of those users. So first, we'll print out the count of the users from just doing our first query of dot all without a filter. And then we'll print the count of our users that are filtered and see how the difference is. So we'll go ahead and run it. And you can see there are 23 users in total, but with our filter for user age is greater than or equal to 25, there are only 13 users that match that criteria. And so this filter method does allow us to filter based on class attributes. So you can see it is user.age. And if we go back over to our models.py file, we have an age column right here. So we can do the same thing with name and even ID. And well, for this right here, if you know SQL, this is equivalent to select star from users where age is greater than or equal to 25. We can also specify more than one filter criteria. For example, we can add a filter with the user's name. So say here, we want to get all of our users their age is greater than or equal to 25 and where their name is Iron Man. And we do that just by putting a comma in between and we go ahead and run it. And you can see there are only four users that are named Iron Man that are greater than 25 years old. And the SQL equivalent of this query right here is select star from users where age is greater than or equal to 25 and name equals Iron Man. But there is another way that we can filter objects when we're only using the same class that we're querying with. We can use the filter underscore by method to just use keyword arguments from that class we're trying to query to filter. So for example here, we want to query all of our users where the age is equal to 30. So we can set users equals to session dot query of our user. And we will add dot filter underscore by with open and close parentheses. And in here we'll specify age equals to 30. And then we will do dot all to get all of those users. And to be sure we got this right, we'll go ahead and make a for loop. So for user in users, we will go ahead and print out using an F string of our user age. All right, why don't we go ahead and run this? As you can see, there is no output. I mean, there are no users in our database where the age is 30. So we can change this to something else that's say like 25. And we go ahead and run it. And we do see there are five users all with their age of 25. And the SQL equivalent to this is select star from users where age equals 25. Unfortunately, this method does not work with conditionals. So we can't say something like age is greater than or equal to 25. If we do try to run this, it'll say age is not defined. It treats it as now a variable instead of a parameter. If we attempt to do user.age is greater than or equal to 25, this will produce an error because it doesn't like conditionals being inside this filter by. It's just by argument assignment. So whenever we run it, it does produce that error. There is another function in SQL Alchemy that we can use besides filter. It is the dot where function. It functions the same as the dot filter method, but it's just a little more SQL like. We'll go ahead and start off with an example. We'll say users equals session dot query of our user. And then we will type dot where with open and close parentheses. And inside of here, we will pass any conditional statements just like the regular filter method. So in this case, we'll do user dot age is greater than or equal to 30. And at the very end, we'll type dot all. And then we will loop through each user in our users list using a for loop. And we will print out the user's age just to be sure it works correctly. So if we go ahead and run it, we do see that all of these ages are greater than or equal to 30. And if we do go back into our database, we can see that there are some ages below that. So we can tell it's definitely working. If you find this video helpful, leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Now let's say you wanted to execute a statement where you wanted one of the conditions provided here to be true. So you can either have eight, everyone over the age of 30 or everyone with the name of Iron Man, but you don't want both criteria to be made. But with how we have it set up here, 
it will only filter users over the age of 30 and where their name is Iron Man. But we don't want an and case, we want or. So we can do that by importing the or underscore function from SQLchemy. And we can go ahead and wrap our conditionals in parentheses and type or underscore in front of it. We will go ahead and modify our print statement to just print out the user's age and their name so we can see it in action. So whenever we go ahead and run it, and for our conditions, we do get all of the users that are older than the age of 30. But if there are users less than the age of 30, it's because their name is Iron Man. So if we take a look over here, we have the age of 22 and their name is Iron Man. We have another one that's 23 and they're Iron Man and 21, which is Iron Man. But we don't see any of the other ones that are not named Iron Man that are below the age of 30. Another note is inside this OR function, we can pass as many parameters as we want and it'll be at least one of them is true, it'll give us that result in the data set. So we could do a comma and say, if the user ID is greater than four, then it will return the data as well for sure. So we can also achieve the same effect by using the bitwise or operator built in Python. So to do that, we'll get rid of the or underscore. And instead of this comma in between, we will do a close the or bitwise operator and then an open parenthesis. In order for this to work, you do have to wrap your conditionals in parentheses. So whenever we run it, we get the same output. So by default in SQL Alchemy, if we don't pass this or or the bitwise or operator, it treats it as saying that all those conditions must be true in order for it to get the data. We can explicitly say this instead of or we can import and. And this will require all of the statements to be true. So we can go ahead and run it. And we can see there's only two users that are over the age of 30. Their name is Iron Man and we're not printing out the ID, but we can assume the ID is greater than four. This same effect can be achieved using the bitwise and operator. So we can go ahead and get rid of the and underscore. And instead of these commas, we'll do a close, and then an ampersand and an open parenthesis. And we'll do that for both of them. So whenever we go ahead and run it, we do get the exact same output. So another thing we can do is say we want the opposite of whatever condition is presented in the, the query. So we can do this by using the not underscore operator and we can wrap whatever condition we want inside this operator to get the opposite of it. So say in this case, we wanna select all the users where their name is not Iron Man. We go ahead and run it. We can see that in our output, all of these users are not the name of Iron Man. But if we were to take this away and we rerun it, we can see we only get the users with the name Iron Man. And we actually can combine all the different options of or, and, and not. I'll show you an example. So we can set our users equal to, and we'll go ahead and do an open parenthesis to make this multi-line. Then we'll add session.query of our user, and we'll add the where clause. We will go ahead, go up here, and just import and, not, and or. And then we'll go ahead and say or underscore open parenthesis. And we'll go ahead and set our first condition where we don't want the users with the name of Iron Man. And for the second parameter in our OR function, we'll go ahead and do AND underscore. And for our first parameter, we'll say users.age is greater than the age of 35. And the second parameter will say our user's age needs to be less than the age of 60. And we'll go ahead and close parentheses that. We'll do the same thing on the next line. The next line until we're all the way out. And at the very end here, we'll add dot all. This will get us all the users meeting all of this criteria. So again, we'll go ahead and just run this. And you can see based on our result set that we are getting all of the users either between the ages of 35 and 60 or where their name is not Iron Man. And it seems like from our data, we don't have anyone named Iron Man that are between these ages. And the SQL equivalent of this is select star from users where name does not equal Iron Man or age is greater than 35 and age is less than 60. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next video.